folks, this is Ziggy and uh, well in one of my hopefully not too many videos um, I explained the solo of Tommy Emmanuel's Guitar Boogie which originally is not a Tommy Emmanuel composition I don't know who the author of that song is but it is a typical boogie, guitar boogie, 12 bar um, <coughs> theme and well to go uh, into details directly here we start. You see, the most important thing is to get the rhythm going, and uh, that is the right end. This punch, this kind of beat, is absolutely necessary to give it life, to, 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 well, to blow some breath into this thing, and. Uh, well, the left hand is the left hand is quite easy. You start with the open E string. I take my middle finger for the third fret, fourth fret. Then I go to the A string and uh, have my forefinger on the second fret. Take my ring finger in the fourth fret of the A string. Back to the second fret. This is enough to start to practice this thing, yeah? Play, a play for some time this. And once you get this, try to improve your right hand punch on the 2 and 4. take some time until you feel this rhythm in your body so um, that is the most important thing I remember it took me some time to play a thing, thing like that until I was really satisfied even when I started to play it in the intro there were some parts in which I didn't feel that well confident and uh, that is what it is all about you can expand your theme to the uh, D string you go to the second fret on the D string go back to the fourth fret of the A string then to the second let me see where we are first but remember when you play it like this you see it is okay but there is not the funk that uh, that is in it to become alive and Tommy Emmanuel well who is in my opinion the greatest living guitarist on our planet he um, plays well chords into this or mm, for example one upstroke that is important look here <laughs> this and get it really groovy that is the art that is well not easy even if for well for the first when you want to take a first sight at this song it doesn't seem to be too difficult um, well then let me see what you can do the whole thing you move it to the A string can play the same thing like the one in E, now with an A. And you go 
comes back. And then you play. That is fourth finger on the A string. Third finger, pinky. And then you go to the E string. So that is not really difficult and I don't know if Tommy plays the same way, it is my version of that song and uh, but as you now found out when you've listened to one of my videos you realize that I want to get it groovy and uh, not to really copy everything note for note. Uh, it's good for me when it works and when it grooves. I start again. again very slowly something like this he plays you see here is the e7 chord remember c major c7 e7 e7 without the pinky uh, without the forefinger get this sound so these fingers they stay where they are and then Tommy plays in this melody. So he combines the chords or the chord with the melody. and well start to boogie and start simple and try to make it large and improve it okay thank you bye bye <laughs> <laughs>